Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial, and now today we're going to be looking at another image effect. This is going to be Screen Space Ambient Occlusion, or SSAO. Now, a lot of games would do it by, you can use light mapping and probably the new features in Unity 5 to bake these into your textures, because you used to be able to put the ambient occlusion in with the baked global illumination, we have a ambient occlusion setting there so we can adjust that accordingly. Now if you want it to have a more of a real time look or you're struggling with baking your textures out especially for Unity 5 this also did work for you with Unity 4 but I think it's a really nice effect. Now if you see in my game and I play it and we just have a look around everything's very clean let's say and if you look in the real world and you look at an object that, say this object here, or this object here, it doesn't have any direct light going towards it, so the sun's up here, and it's pointing down over here, so this has direct light on here, and the light bounces around realistically, and that's why you get the softness over in this side. Now, as I said, objects in the real world, if you've got an object, if you look on your desk or whatever it might be, you'll see a shadowing um, beneath the areas that touch another area. I'm not sure if that's the best way to explain it, but if we grab the Unity 5 character controller and we select the main camera which is the first person controller, go component, um, image effects, rendering and then screen space ambient occlusion, we'll add that to our scene and it will add it to the main camera. Now if we go to the game view without playing, what I can do is untick it and you can see for every edged area that meets another sort of flat surface we get a darkened area which can make it look a little bit more realistic if you don't really overdo it so we can tone the radius, tone the radius down on this side to about 0.2. You can increase the sample count which will increase the sort of overall quality you can increase the intensity so it gets darker and darker and that might be if you want a sort of stylized look for your game if you want it to look maybe more cartoony and you can see between each of the areas we've got the actual darkened areas you can increase the blur amount I'll go back into there blur you need some blur or it'll look and we'll take it down it'll look very odd and patchy down sampling will take down the quality if needs be or to make it more optimized the um, occlusion attenuation is how far it sort of fades off and along similarly with the minimum sort of Z buffer is the smaller amount that we give it or the higher amount should I say we can adjust the amount that which we see so we don't want something to overkill the entire scene that we've got so again if we play it and have a look you can see that it adds an overall it might not be the best for this scene in particular but you can notice the difference it looks quite clean and now we can add some ambient occlusion to the overall edges of our scene which is a fairly simple way just a simple image effect on the camera but can sometimes add a little bit more realism if you're struggling in that area. So this was just a short one, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.